All right, then, my friends. So this is where we left off at the last lesson. We had the desktop styles done, and this grid looks pretty nice. We have this big column on the left and the slightly smaller two columns on the right. And it looks good for desktop, but as we get smaller, then it starts to look squashed. And I want to kind of redo this grid at smaller screen sizes so that perhaps at this point right here, round about here, we have two columns, one on the left for this, one on the right for this, and then this stuff starts to sit underneath, okay? Now, I'm gonna roughly do this at about 1,400 pixels. So let me just inspect over here and bring this to around about 1,400 pixels. Roughly at this point, I want to make it so we have two columns, and this goes underneath onto the next row. So let's do our media query. At media, screen, and, and the max width for this is gonna be 1,400 pixels. All right, so we need to redo the grid layout. Let me just get rid of that. We need to redo the grid layout. So that's on the main over here. So let me copy this main selector. And down here, we're just going to paste it in. And we don't need to change the min height. We don't need to change the display property. All we need to do is change this property and get rid of that. So now I have two columns, both one fraction each on the left and the right. So if I save this now, when we go to a smaller screen size, we should see those two columns, the left and the right, looking pretty good. And then down here, we have that single column as well. Now, this down here should ideally span both columns instead of just sitting in this single column on the next row. So what we're gonna do is target that as well. So I'll say dot panel, dot photos, which is the class of that particular panel, that div, and we're gonna say grid hyphen column, and we want it to span two columns, all right? So if I save this now and preview, oh, not worked. So I've spelt grid wrong, grid column. All right, so now it's spanning both columns, but it still looks a bit kind of big and not quite right. What I'd like to do ideally is have this text sitting next to this image, left to right. So we know that this div in itself, this panel is also a grid, but at the minute it only has one column. So what we need to do is add a second column. So this sits in the left column and this image on the right column. So let's now say grid template hyphen columns, and it's going to be one fraction and one fraction like so. Press save, and now we can see that looks a bit better. Okay, cool. So we also need to make it so that all this white space down here isn't there. And that's because we have multiple rows in this nested grid because before this sat on top of this. So we need to get rid of those rows and we can just say grid hyphen template hyphen rows is gonna be one fraction, save that. And now we just have this one row right here, awesome. Okay, so that's looking pretty good for that particular size screen. Now, as we get a bit smaller again, I'm just gonna make this bigger and inspect so we can make it smaller. Roughly at about 960 pixels, I wanna make the next media query. So round about here, this kind of point. And what I'd like to do is make it so that at this point, everything starts to stack one on top of the other. So this will be at the top, this will be on the next row down, and then this on the next row down, and so forth. So let's try doing that. We're gonna create our new media query, at media, screen, and max hyphen width is going to be 960 pixels. And then inside here, we want to target the main tag again. And we wanna grab this property right here. And now we're just gonna have one column, and it's just gonna be 100% width, that one column, okay? That's all we really need to do. So if I save this right now, and preview and go below 960 pixels. We can see that this now is on the top. This is down here and the other one is kind of hidden. And we need to basically sort out the rows, the row heights so that we don't have hidden items. So let's come down here and say grid hyphen template hyphen rows like so. And it's gonna be 500 pixels for the first one. 400 pixels for the second one and 400 pixels for the third one. If I save this and preview, we can see that these rows are a bit nicer, but also we want the panel, the in the middle panel to be visible. Now, if I highlight that, we can see it's kind of behind this Mooney thing right here, this main content. So what I'm gonna do is just target that panel. So panel and it's gonna be dots about and we're gonna say grid row, and it's gonna be, 
we want it to start at two, right? We want it to be on the second row. And also, in fact, let's save that first of all and see what it looks like. Yeah, we can see down here, we have the about me section, okay? The image looks a bit blurry and a bit big, but we wanna do the same thing now as we did down here. We want the image to be on the left and we want this to be over on the right. So let's come down here and say grid template hyphen columns, because remember this is a grid in itself, an nested grid, one fraction, one fraction, like so. And also the grid template rows is just gonna be one fraction. All right, so if we save that now, hopefully it's gonna to start to look a bit better. Here it does. So now everything is stacking one on top of the other. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is target all the panel images so that they're 100% width. So I'll just say panel image like so, and the width is gonna be 100%. Let's have a look at that. Yep, and that looks a bit better, awesome. So it's starting to look pretty responsive. Now there's one more I want to do, and that's roughly at this point about 680 pixels. And at this point, I basically just wanna play around with the row height and things like that. So let me come down here and do one more media query at media screen and max hyphen width. And the max width is gonna be 680 pixels. Now, at this point, I'm gonna take the main and I want the grid template rows property. And we're just gonna make those a little bit bigger so that as we get really small like this, you see the content kind of overflows at the top, starting to overflow down here as well. We wanna address that problem. So. I'm gonna say that the grid template rows this time are gonna be 700 pixels, then 600, then 600 like so. All right, so if we save that and preview, that's looking a bit better. But also what I wanna do is make it so that these actually stack on top of each other, the image and the text, because I think at smaller screens, it just looks too squashed. So I'm gonna target the about panel and the photos panel. So dot panel dot about and also dot panel dot photos. Target both of those at once. And we're gonna say the grid column, we're just gonna have one of those, which is one fraction. We're gonna have the grid template. In fact, this should be grid template columns like so, all right? And uh, we need to also say grid hyphen column and they both want to span one. And then we're gonna say grid template hyphen rows. And for the rows, it's gonna be one fraction, one fraction. So the image and the text both sit on top of each other and they both take up one fraction of the height. And then also we're gonna give each one a border bottom and that's gonna be one pixel solid. And it's gonna be kind of like a gray color. So DC, DC, DO or D zero rather. And let's try this out come over here and yeah it's looking all right um, not amazing but you know they'll do it's looking pretty responsive I think the only problem is maybe at certain widths this image is not quite right but you know what I don't want to play around with the image you get the idea in terms of the grid it's all stacking on top of each other and it's nice and responsive awesome so that's our fourth project I think is it fourth yeah, our fourth project done. Next up, we're gonna create a 12 column grid system.